in the flyweight division at UFC a fight night. You got Clayton Carpenter coming in at a perfect 6-0, and taking on Juan Camilo Ronderos, who lost his uh, UFC debut, fell to 4-1, and and he lost that fight to David Dvorak. So this is a tough fight to predict because we don't have a lot of information on these guys. But let's get into a Carpenter, 3 inches taller at 5'6". He's got a 4-inch reach advantage. He's a right-hander. Ronderos fights Southpaw so far, and these stats are sort of meaningless, but it'll give us a little bit of an idea. Carpenter, 5.3 significant strikes per minute. Ronderos just under 5 per minute. So the striking game goes to Carpenter. Barely also to takedown average. He gets about take that, uh, three takedowns over the course of three rounds. Or if you average that out, one takedown every round. Ronderos, we haven't seen any takedowns from him yet, but that's primarily because he fought David Dvorak in a UFC fight. So Carpenter wins at Dana White's Contender Series. Ronderos loses in his UFC debut. So that's a situation at hand. We really don't know what's going to happen until this fight kicks off. But I like Clayton Carpenter. I mean, this guy... Is a perfect 6-0. and He's doing something right. And I believe he's going to come in in his debut and drop Ronderos to get the easy victory. He'll move to 7-0 and primarily on significant strikes. He could finish with a submission, a little ground and pound or control time, but he'll finish his fight to move to 7-0. Flyweight division, UFC, fight night.